In this second volume of the futsal video course, we will be looking at the tactical element. During the playing of a futsal match, the players are subjected to a complex challenge resulting from the multiple mental and physical demands that they face, reacting with and without the ball, in front of teammates and opponents, and in tactical situations that are always changing. The player must understand the playing field, movements and actions of the opponents and teammates. He must also anticipate the direction and speed of the ball. Concentrate on performing the techniques of the game, quickly perceive tactical situations, and take initiative in important moments. Three conditions are necessary for the player to be able to have the right efficient approach during the match. To know how to move within the court, finding open space, and always looking to be in favorable positions to receive the ball. He must be flexible facing the various situations of the game. Have a vast and varied repertoire of solutions to achieve the final objective of the game, which is to score a goal and consequently to win. At the same time, two requirements are fundamental in order for the player to have an efficient tactical approach. Access to high-level technical skills for all types of movement. The ability to correctly read and anticipate the development of situations of emotional, physical and tactical overload, as well as knowing all the rules. Tactics can be divided into defense and offense, in that these two aspects define the strategies of the game. When referring to tactics, it is necessary to define three terms that are very important in the futsal context. Position, function, and characteristics. These three aspects are fundamental in choosing the players that will make up the team, and especially those that combine these conditions to perform their functions during the match. Position defines in which position the player will play. Fixed defender, wing, and or pivot. Function is the player's ability to perform a specific role during the match. Versatility refers to the flexibility of the player if he is able to perform a function and or play a more defensive and or offensive position. In modern futsal, the players should be prepared to play in all positions, perform efficiently offensive and defensive functions besides possessing the flexibility to play in any position as the need arises during the game. This obviously is also true for the goalkeeper, who, due to the rule changes, now performs defensive and offensive functions, having a decisive role in matches. Defensive Tactics The defensive system will be defined as soon as the opposing team gains possession of the ball. In whichever part of the court it may be, its main objective is to limit and stop the offensive play of the opponents. There are three types of coverage in futsal. Individual, zone, and mixed. In high-level futsal, individual coverage, either floating or switching, is most common. However, zone coverage, 2-2 two and 3-1, two and and are also used in certain situations. Individual coverage with switching. In this type of coverage, the defining factor is the opponent and requires optimal physical conditioning on the part of the player, as well as strong determination and fundamentals of coverage, trying always to outplay the opponent and reduce his playing space and field of movement. This type of coverage, if it is not well executed, can result in a large number of openings. The defining factor of this type of coverage is that each player must follow his opponent all over the court independently of the area in which he is positioned. Obviously, there is a very important component to this type of coverage, reciprocal support. That is, the closest teammate should always be ready to cover the teammate if he is beaten. Three aspects should be considered for this type of coverage. One, basic defensive positioning. The player should always keep his legs bent his upper body slightly inclined forward, his legs slightly spread, and avoid crossing his legs when moving sideways. Two, 
covering the attacker with the ball. The closer the ball is to the goal, the more the defender should approach the attacker, bearing in mind the basic positioning. The player should try to see which is the opponent's stronger leg, and thus try to force him on his weak leg. If the opponent is moving with the ball along the side of the court, he should close the middle, maintaining a sideways position. He should stay at a distance of one meter from the opposing player, avoiding an immediate challenge. Once the opponent has made his move, the defender should try to steal the ball. If the attacker is able to put the ball ahead, the defender should first try to regain his position in front of the attacker and only then try to gain possession of the ball. Three, covering the attack without the ball. The defensive player has to be aware of his respective opponent and which zone the ball is in. By trying to stay between the attacker and the ball, making an eventual defense possible and limiting the possibility of his opponent receiving a pass. This type of individual pressure coverage is normally used throughout the court, making the opponent's clearances and plays involving the goalkeeper more difficult. However, it is also common to use individual coverage only from center court. Zone coverage. This type of coverage is not very common at the highest level, but is recommended for beginners and intermediate competitions. The defining characteristic of this type of coverage is the area of the court in relation to the ball. In this type of coverage, especially in a smaller court, the court should be divided into areas and then define which player will be responsible for the coverage in each area. Two and two and three and one are the types of coverage that are the most common. In two and two coverage, two defenders are up front starting at the half court and two are further back. In three and one coverage, the formation has three players back, one covering the middle, two on the wings, and one covering more up front in the pivot position. Mixed coverage. In this type of coverage, the basics of individual and zone coverage are applied. The coach opts to place one of the defenders in individual coverage on one of the attackers, and the other three defenders in zone, each in his respective area. <music> Offensive tactics. A team will be on attack once they gain possession of the ball, considering that offensive maneuvers should be performed taking into consideration the coordinated movements of each player. With the rule changes, the goalkeeper now plays an important role when a team is attacking and plays an active role in the offensive maneuvers as his team has superiority in numbers over the opposing defense. For this reason, it is important to include the goalkeeper. With this modification, the game became more dynamic making it opportune for the goalkeeper to make a pass from his defensive zone with his hands or feet directly to a well-positioned teammate in the offensive zone. With the tactical evolution of futsal and the rule changes, it has become important that the offensive tactical training be set up so that the players can train the most diverse situations which could occur during a match, be it the kickoff, using the tactical recourse rotating positions with the wings and or the pivot, or from set plays from free kicks, corners, sideline, or goal kicks, or on offensive plays that can start from any place on the court where possession was gained, or from substitutions and the effective participation of the goalkeeper, who provides numeric superiority on attack. When the goalkeeper ventures forward, and possesses advanced technical skills like shooting and passing, his team takes on an additional player on attack, therefore creating a game of four defenders against five attackers. Consequently, the offensive tactics should be defined according to the following situations. Set plays originating from free kicks, sideline kicks, corner kicks, goal throws, maneuvers throughout the game, substitutions, 
and plays of the goalkeeper.